Hey guys! So today I'm going to be filming my June favorites video. Um, the summer is just flying by. I can't believe that it's already July um, and part way into it. I always forget to film these videos. I'm like, I'm gonna film a July, June, May favorites video and it's like halfway through June and I'm like, eh, this is awkward. I can't do that. So wait it out till the next month. Um, and I'm remembering this time, so yay! Because I know that a lot of people request these videos and really like them. So here are my favorites for the month of June. I've pared it down so there's just, I don't know, a few. Um, so we'll just get started with makeup. My all-time favorite product for this summer, I think, is going to be the Garnier Skin Renew Miracle Skin Perfector BB Cream in Light Medium. And it's what I'm wearing on my face today and what I've worn on my face every day all summer because it's super lightweight, but it has SPF 15. It gives, um, definitely some coverage, but I don't have, like, problematic skin. I'm not trying to cover anything up, so it's the perfect lightweight formula that, um, just corrects any kind of discoloration, um, and just gives you a very flawless look without being too heavy. So, big fan of this product. I'm going to buy it in the medium to dark shade because I've definitely gotten a lot tanner. And it's a little bit light. I mean, it absorbs in pretty well and kind of like matches your skin tone. But to have a little bit more color um, in a bit darker of a shade would be definitely be nice. Um, so that was my first favorite. My next one is the Victoria's Secret Pro Airbrush Fix Perfecting Primer. And this has SPF 20. And it is... A face primer and I've never really used a face primer just because I was kind of like my makeup generally stays on pretty well like I don't really see why but I bought the bombshell box or something like that from the Victoria's Secret semi-annual sale it was in the haul I did from my like Pittsburgh New York trip um, so this is a part of that box set so you know I was like okay well I'm gonna try it out and I really like it it definitely increases the longevity of the makeup that's on my face it doesn't slide off halfway through the day um, even when it's hot so that's definitely nice definitely a bonus um, so I really like this, and I think I'll probably purchase a full size when it runs out, but they give you a lot of product in here, so, you know, I don't think I'll be running out anytime soon. But that's another face product I've really been liking. Then I have two mascaras that I've been using a lot this summer. First is the Lash Blast Volume Waterproof, and this is not a new favorite of mine. Oh, this is by CoverGirl. Um, but I, I mean, whenever it comes back to the summer months, I'm always reaching for this because it's such a good mascara. Um... It volumizes and lengthens and is crazy waterproof, so waterproof that even your makeup remover will not be taking this off. So that is a downside to it. It's really hard to take off. I mean, you definitely have to scrub at your eyes, which is not fun, but it will not run and it will stay on and your lashes will still look good when you get out of the pool um, or the ocean or wherever you were. So it's a really good waterproof mascara and I really like it. Um, and then for a more everyday basis, this is another thing that came in the bombshell kit that I bought. And it's the Victoria's Secret Voluptuous Volume Mascara. And it just looks like this. Again, it's kind of a like sample size, but I really like things like that that you can kind of test out and see if you like. Why aren't you focusing? There we go. So that's the mascara, and I'll show you the brush. Now this mascara is, uh, I'm not going to say it's like, a crazy good mascara. It's perfect for everyday wear for me. It doesn't do anything like mind-blowing. It volumizes nicely, it lengthens a little, and it separates your lashes and just looks very, very natural. So that's why I like it for everyday wear, but if I'm going out, um, it's not anything special because I like something that gives a bit more volume, a bit more length, um, and really kind of adds that wow factor to your eyes. But this looks really, really natural, which is nice. But it's not waterproof, so again, that's why I have my CoverGirl one. And then my next beauty product is also from that collection and I'm not sure whether it's this product that I love so much it looks like there are like bite marks on this my makeup is getting like mangled like do you will you look at this what what is that's like a bite mark do you see that what is that that's bizarre I don't like ah. like that's weird Anyway, um, just notice that. I'm not sure if it's this product that I'm in love with or this type of product that I'm in love with. I haven't had a, like, pencil eyeliner in ages, um, and so I'm really excited that I have a black pencil eyeliner. But I do like the formulation of this a lot. It's just your simple... I really need to sharpen it. Um, it's just your simple black eyeliner. Like, it's nothing, like, insanely special. But it does have a nice formulation. Um, it's very creamy and soft and it stays on my waterline and I've also been liking smudging this just into the upper lash line if I'm not really doing much else for makeup that day because um, it just makes your lashes look very voluminous um, and it just smudges really nicely. So it's a good product. I like it a lot. Um, and then two other things. This one is, I don't know where the top to this went. 
because I am a messy person and I actually started filming this video before before I realized I wasn't recording. Story of my life. Um, but yeah, so this is the Argon Color Stick. It's the Josie Marin Cosmetic. Um, and it's in Summer Lovin. And you probably saw this in the haul I did, and I just adore it. It's just, it's so pretty. I usually use it on the cheeks. I have it on today. It just gives this perfect dewy um, complexion, and it just is super natural looking and just very flawless. And it's a really pretty coral shade with some gold to it, and this is really off-center. Um, so yeah, I really, really like this product. Last but not least for um, makeup products, I have my EOS Lip Balm, and this is in like Summer Fruit or something like that. I don't know, but it says the EOS. For those of you who haven't seen the EOS products, I feel like everyone on YouTube has, but hey, if you haven't, here it is. Um, it just smells really good. It's super moisturizing, and it's just so cute that, like, I don't know, I like it a lot. Um, so I just picked that up at the drugstore the other day, and I really like it. So figured I'd include it. Now on to hair. I just have two products. Um, first is the Paul Mitchell Extra Body Thicken Up Styling Liquid, and this was kind of just a random purchase at the drugstore, I was like, hey, I want something to thicken my hair. Um, so I grabbed this and I really like it. You just do three or four pumps. I usually do three. Um, and you apply it to damp hair. So like right before I'm going to bed, I'll just apply it in. And you just kind of work it through your hair, through your roots and everything. And you wake up in the morning and, feel and it gives you a lot more volume and definitely makes your hair feel thicker. So I really, really like it. It's a good product. Um, and you get a lot. Like this is a big, like it's like as big as my head or as tall as my head. So, um, I definitely like that. And then Moroccan oil, which I know has been in favorites before, but I just can't, like, tell you enough how much this has changed my hair life. Like, ah, thank you, Moroccan oil. Thank you for getting rid of my split ends and making my hair feel touchable again. Um, I seriously, I, I just, I can't say enough good things about it. My hair is just so soft because of it. Like, oh, ah, that's just it's what it makes me feel. Oh. Ah. Um, oh, and then I almost forgot my Eyes, Lips, Face palette. And someone commented and it was like, it's the warm palette or something like that. I don't, I don't remember. I will comment it, or not comment it, annotate it. But it just has such pretty colors. I did a tutorial with this palette, so I will link it below. But they're really, really pigmented and really nice. So I absolutely love this. I find myself reaching for it all the time. Um, I don't know, so I really like it. And then my last two kind of beauty related products are a lotion and a like mist. Um, the lotion is Tropic Breeze by Victoria's Secret and it's got mangosteen and I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. There you go. Um, <laughs> but it's just a really nice lotion. It smells really summery. I have it on right now. It's just really moisturizing and how cute is this bottle? Like these colors are so in like the teal and the orange and I really like them together and I just feel like it goes with like everything in my room so well that <laughs> I don't know I love the bottle too but yeah so I really really like that um and just smells really summery and then also it smells really summery is this um island breeze ocean breeze and pineapple refreshing body mist and I just love this stuff it was a scent that I wore a lot last summer and it just smells so clean so fresh but so summery and it's just like oh my god it's like, it's so nice because it has this cooling effect to it and then the scent just smells very clean and fresh. So if you're all sweaty and like you feel really, really gross, you just kind of spritz that on and you're suddenly like, ooh, I, I feel refreshed, I smell good, like this it's going to be okay. I'm going to get through whatever heat is going on right now because my upstairs gets insanely hot. I don't have air conditioning. Um, granted, where I live it doesn't get that hot, but it's still unpleasant and this stuff is just so cooling and so nice. Um, so I really, really like this. So that is all my beauty favorites. Now on to some kind of more random favorites. I'll start with the beauty related favorites. So I wanted to do a like just shout out to some of my favorite like channels. Um, first of all is Daily's channel. Um, and that is 15 Lucky Charms here on YouTube. And she is just like, oh my god. I just, I don't understand why she doesn't have more subscribers because she's so good at what she does and um I don't know I just I feel like she really needs more subscribers so please go check her out um if you haven't seen her in my videos then actually she hasn't been in that many videos recently but we're best friends we always film together on her second channel which you should definitely check out daily's daily vlogs um where she vlogs a lot and half the time more than half the time I'm in them so you get to see more of me if that's not incentive enough um 
So I'm going to link both of those channels below so you can go check them out. But 15 Lucky Charms is her beauty channel, and then Daily's Daily Vlogs is her vlog channel, both of which deserve way more subscribers than they have. So please check out both of them. And then um, I wanted to do a shout out to a blog that I recently fell in love with, and that is... Um, a beautiful mess and Daily also recommended this to me so thanks Daily and it's just a super fun eclectic blog um, of just lots of like I don't know random every day do it yourself like I don't know it's this girl and it's like her style and her you know like I don't know decor and all of this stuff it's just it's really cool and it's giving me a lot of ideas for my room so get excited for a room tour it is coming I promise like I swear I haven't forgotten I just still haven't finished my room, but it is slowly but surely coming together, and I'm very excited. So, um, yeah, that that's a work in progress. Um, and then, yeah, I'll be down in like two seconds. Yeah, I gotta go. Um, so I guess that's gonna conclude my favorites for this month. Um, I know I had some other ones, but I kind of forgot them now that I need to go. So. YOLO. Um, I'll do them next month if I remember them. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys.